this man say what put me in a dream for music. Anyway, you see me, not this one. In one week, my song got 1.1 million views in our country with 1.4 million. So it's only point something, don't like my song. But out of the point something, it only had one who feel that he bad now went on my Instagram and tell me in a dream. Yo, it's yours truly, the original Gangsta Pasta, and look what the cat just dropped in. Look who come in my studio to check me today. The original slide on. Slide, where's you seen that? I didn't know my G, I don't know where this go. And it's that. So what bring you in this part today? Where you, where you come to do? I see you come with two youth men. To tell me who's them, what what, what how they concern you. Tell me something about them now. They say bring people in my place. Well, you don't know. <laughs> it's slide on when I roll in, I just roll heavy, but I do like crowd. Mm. So I roll my sons. You know what I'm saying? So you two of them are their sons? Yeah, but Fives. to be honest with you, my big son, Savvy Boss, I know them will be about him. I mean, I never really see face, but he's real bad. You know what I'm just like me, he's really behind the interview thing, he's behind the TV thing, he's no number thing, and none of them shit. You know so all they don't rap no numbers, all they just love, all they want. Yeah, one. yeah, we just do our own thing, you know what i We just set the trend. People and, fall, and, and to be quite honest, I believe in that statement as well. I, that six and nine, that number thing, to me, it don't make sense. Now, well, here I sit, and I to be honest with you, my brother, whether it's six, whether it's nine, whether it's seven, you see all them brothers who singing, representing them numbers, them fellas are real talented. Here why you telling it? Some of the baddest thing ever come to change that is all them fellas. But you know my main dream, my brother? Talk to I, me. I would like to see them fellas unite by. And here, yeah, we can turn this shit like call America. Ah, they, they rap team, they rap this one doing this, this one doing that, East Coast, West Coast, you know what I mean? Yeah, we had that normal vibes and like, with all the things coming out. We are you know, to the country, we just do everything. And, and I just, I say the same thing because I like music. And when I hear good music, but can't play it because it representing a certain a culture number, and yeah, this culture kind of is attached to a touch on number and this number not dealing with that number yeah. i just want to hear music and all these numbers have good music bad music too you understand? not even good bad because listen <laughs> to me most of them fellas well, we train the bad thing really start off from people listening to jamaican music and we start with our own settings right no when i watch when i look at it no, big up to Jamaica too, because Jamaica has some, yeah, they some real bad artists though, but you yeah, to big up to the Trini bad too, because trust me, we have some real bad artists, we only problem For is, real. we only problem is that men take the war a little more serious, yeah, they get, I don't mind it have a, a lyrical war, you know? but you see, you, you know what's going on in the streets, no. it's number versus number, it's no, war, you remember you know? a long time, in our era yeah. when we used to do it you understand because it's two artists saying i'm talking here too eh, fellas two know. proper proper artists <laughs> that have offsprings doing these things because it's in our dna you understand and it's no it. cia yeah, yeah and it's that you see now what i want to know is how come we used to have lyrical war back in the days as well and it wasn't about i want to kill you and you want to sometimes we singing in the same party True, eh, but you see, I feel we need to bring back this song clash era, where if a boy really boy and a boy lyrically, it it normal, it entertaining. <laughs> you could even bring revenue out of it, true, you know. True, true, and true. everybody live, you know. But it take the water that level lyrically. I respect, right? I'm a wise OG. My settings, my music, and things like I'm a son he real bad, you know. People right. around his age real bad too, and most of them around his age is people who any number thing. I probably say my son here, he know no number thing, he do anything independently, but what I'm saying is aside, right, the youth now, they fall in trends. That way the leaders, the elders, as we serve, should come in, you know what I mean? But you know where it go. We can't just change everything one time, but nah, that's this right there we do, we need to show that you can do good music, you don't need to represent no numbers. We are love for all the numbers because all the numbers is Trinidad. And this is a nice positive statement because I believe this is the start right here. Mm-hmm. Gangsta Pasta and the original Slide Dan. I feel we should do a, a collab, you know. But it's not about we today, it's about the youths yes, and them. Right. So here what I want you to do. Before we take the break, I want you to tell the people and them who we're going to have after the break. Introduce your son. Yeah, well, all you know about me, right? I see one Dan, Slide Dan. Yeah, they get. Yes, so, 
my offspring have to be the one that so they have to be the soft one original savvy boss yeah well they don't know easy girls them sugar you know i don't cook them up like <laughs> yo yeah okay. that my son yeah, i ain't gonna go too much on him because i want to like too much i kick the thing he's a man serious thing he like his serious vibes and you know he looking like his father so you don't know he's a ladies man <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying right so, so right now we're gonna take a little quick break and when we come back from the break we're coming back to hear the original sly dan what's his name savvy boss savvy boss with and a capital s and with i forget the capital, capital b with the boss too yeah they yeah they and we are here with the man they call Savvy Boss. Savvy Boss, what is it? Gangsta Pasta, I don't know how we stay, bro. Watch me, if there's one thing I must say, ladies and gentlemen, bro, you look just like your father, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's only, you know, we, we... That, it, genetics, yeah. bro. Genetics. Nice. So, tell me something, uh, you are an artist. Yeah. Um. What type of music do you sing? What What's your genre of music? Well, uh, basically, I sing dancehall, all different types of dancehall. Not just one style. It have badness. It have girl song. It have, you know, it have positive. It have all kind of different genres. Right. Uh, so, dancehall. right. So you are artist, and your choice of uh, the way you will deliver your message is true dancehall. Yeah. Nice. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been singing or when was the first time you realized that you had this talent? Tell me about well, your journey. I started singing when I was small, basically around like 11, 10. I, used, I started off on like voice notes on the phone, like you know, you can voice you call yourself and singing any kind of madness. I tried to sing. No, let me, let me stop you there. When you say long time and then they give an age to long time and say 10, 11, somewhere there and then start to talk about voice note, I had to chuckle a little bit because voice note for me in my era didn't exist, <laughs> you know what I mean? So at least you still had a nice platform where you could have recorded something so that you know you wouldn't forget it and stuff yeah. like that. And we started to do this at the age of 10, 11. Yeah. And what made you continue doing this? Well, my family basically introduced me to the music thing as you see my father. Yeah, yeah. Real bad guy. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in the ending of the podcast, you know how the slide on is, you say you want to have a freestyle with his family. So we're gonna pull out the talent from each and every one of them from the slide down family. That's so right. it's not about um numbers with you. Nah. You I an independent artist, I do music. Music is music. I listen to all different types of music to learn. It's a learning experience. Everybody do different types of music. I just got on what I could learn to put it into my craft. You know now, I don't really like pick sides. And and I really like that and I really love that coming from a young person as well. Because yeah. to me honestly, and I was talking to your dad a, a while back and I was telling him, I like all type of music. All these numbers have really, really talented, talented. artists. Yes sir. And I love all their music. Yes sir. You know? So it is very very nice and very very admirable to see a young man yes, like yourself who not on that numbers thing and you know could just be mutual numbers basically you're selling yourself short me i want to reach the, the top i want to be as far as i could go you know now because youths who doing this numbers thing selling yourself short to have you to have talent but pass away because they mention numbers in the music they're up in certain sides me no i just doing music everybody could enjoy the music everybody could listen to me and you know 
I kind of win a gangster pasta. And I love that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, I want to. Did, did you bring anything, or did you have anything planned that you could sing for us today? Well, no, it's just a freestyle off the top because I never really write a song in my life, to be very honest. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, freestyle session right here, Bedroom Studios, Big V Records, yours truly, the original Gangsta Pasta. Yes, sir. Safi Boss, one done. And it's that. And we're out. Aki Security Services. We aim to please. Looking for top-notch security solutions? Look no further than Aki Security Services. We offer a comprehensive range of services tailored to meet your needs. Armed and unarmed security officers, whether you need visible deterrence or discreet protection, our trained professionals are ready to secure your premises or event. Event security, ensure the safety and smooth operation of your events with our experienced team. From concerts to private gatherings, we've got you covered. Personal bodyguarding, your safety is our priority. Our skilled bodyguards provide the ultimate personal protection, keeping you safe wherever you go. Officer training, we offer rigorous training programs to prepare security officers for any situation. Join us and become a part of the elite. Security gear sales, we also sell a wide range of security items, including tactical boots, wear, gloves, and more. Equip yourself with the best. Contact us today. 8687581588 or email us at akipro38 at gmail.com Aki Security Services, your trusted partner in safety. Remember, your security is our mission and we aim to please. Yo, and we're back as promised, yours truly, the original Young Sapasa, Suave Boss. Yo, yes, I, I must say, you look just like your father, you know, you see, eh, slide and eh, you see, spitting image. <laughs> eh, I feel like if I'm sitting down, interviewing my virgin. <laughs> but anyway, so, you have a, a style that I like, you, you know? So what I want to do mm. is to tell my DJ to play our next instrumental just to prove that that I write down because your song just like your father, your song like if it, you know everything was flowing back in the days when me and he used to do it thing, you know, and I still feel we are with thing too, you understand? And if he's still in the studio, me you know if he downstairs or whatever, but if he's still here, I feel I will bring him out and we go do something. Well, so that, is, see. that is the man himself. But slide on, that is where I learned from. Right, and I want he started it, and because of that, I want to show that genes and genetics exist. So I went and play a next instrumental and put you on the spot. I hope you don't mind. Uh, don't mind you, at all. Whether you did mine or not. I was gonna put you on this. Yeah. So DJ, any instrumental you are there, run it now. DJ Pasta, slide on. Can't forget my brother A man. And now we stay. Right. Summer back like me never left. Them talk but they never step Killing for myself I saw me get the rep Bullet lodge in your neck Big guns away off your press We stop hard bullet in our chest Wave away, fully no way Love we go kill them slowly Shoot and I miss like Kobe From me this then you die them no days Them never that me notice we will kill ya and hang it like clothes been big tall guns and my killer them roll with strike them like bowling all the cars tolling huts we go and rolling them now go survive aim for your chest we never aim for your eyes your head boss when you gonna that make me smile charge up love we do the crime Give away yeah bro pull it pull it pull, pull it, it back bro yeah why you say nebrechen yeah bad appreciate that bro and not just your bad lyrically I want to say you had the swag with it. When I see you came into the studio, I tell myself, I say, yes, boy, next gen. Because I read with your father. Real. Yeah, man. 
watch me the man is a legend in my book i always remember the times back in the days when we had here and we had it <laughs> yeah and we used to freestyle it was off the chain now what i want to find out from you if people need to get in contact with you to like book you for shows and interviews and stuff like that yeah. how could they get in contact with you you have any social well, platforms they can get in talk with me from instagram you know kman dot underscore two wide yeah i respond to all fans i don't play no big celebrity because I is not no big celebrity. I I will. You might feel it's not big celebrity, but in my book, Benjamin, yo, watch me, reach a full hundred. No, you was telling me off air that your little brother yeah does do something with you yeah man and that you guys have a song yeah. that you're working on. It's yeah. not finished, yeah. but you guys working on it. Um. Would you think that you could encourage your little brother to come on yeah, here man. and do something? Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the original uh, Suave Boss. The genes of my friend, my partner, my virgin, my brother, the original Slider. The freestyle king back in the day when we used to do it. You heard from his son. Now you're going to hear here, sorry from his next son and they have a collaboration now it's all about suave boss you guys heard where you could get him i will leave the link right here where you could contact him so we're going to take a break and when we come back we're going to hear the offsprings of slide down yeah man and where but <laughs> 